welcome back to our channel uh, today we are going to see how to make a coaxial feeding with patch antenna uh, initially um, in previous classes we have discussed about micro strip feeding and then quarter wave transformer insert feeding these are all we are already discussed uh, today we are going to see how to design a coaxial feeding with micro strip patch antenna actually coaxial feeding it will be having uh, three layers in coaxial cable having three layers one is the inner conductor see this is an inner conductor Just show me inner conductor this is an inner conductor inner conductor directly connect with the patch top of the patch and then outer conductor the outer conductor it will be connected with ground outer conductor is connected with ground uh, the in between the inner conductor and the outer conductor we are having the teflon layer actually number path of the now coaxial cable for the number we take over the normal tv cable the okay la. this is having a three layers is there okay la. inner layer is a directly connect with patch outer layer should be connect with ground in between the inner layer and the outer layer the teflon will be there Teflon irko, Idika Gabrina, the inner conductor, outer conductor, okay, short of the Kataka and our Teflon layer, okay. Okay, the next among the micro strip patch antenna with coaxial feeding designing perform, okay. The first of all, uh, we are today we are going to design micro strip patch antenna for 5 gigahertz resonance with FR4 substrate. The, sub, the substrate height is should be a one uh, the substrate height is 1.6 that are already are given here uh, there are so many uh, there are so many uh, where online websites is there to calculate uh, the length and width of the patch uh, the manually also we can able to calculate uh, with the help of the length and width formulas uh, but now i am going to now here i am going to calculate with the help of the em talk uh, i am going to calculate what is the resonance length and width of 5 gigahertz for fr4 substrate okay i am going to open that uh, em talk website okay. em stock website uh, the dielectric constant of fr4 material is 4.4 uh, height is 1.6 i am going to design for 5 gigahertz uh, for 5 gigahertz i am getting the length and uh, length of the patch is 13.7 and then with this 18.2 okay the 18.2 this is the length and width of the uh, micro strip patch antenna in case if you are changing the frequency instead of 5 if you are giving uh, 3 you will get some other uh, length and width values just a minute yeah uh, if i am giving 3 means it will becomes 23.4 and then 30.4 but i am going to now i want now we are going to design for 5 jacket so i am getting the length is around 13.5 and then uh, with this uh, 18.2 okay around 18 uh, here i mentioned the length is 13.5 and then with this 18.4 and then substrate height is 1.6 i am going to take substrate is 1.6 and then ground length and ground width uh, the always should be uh, two uh, double the time of length the substrate length is the substrate and ground length is always should be double the time of patch length uh, and then patch width so uh, here 13.5 pa patch length uh, and then ground length is 27 and then ground width is 36.8 18.4 you can mul if you are multiplying with 2 36.8 and then inner uh, inner pin uh, uh, inner pin is 0 0.7 and then outer pin is uh, 2.35 that means inner pin is that, that that will be directly connect with patch and then outer pin is uh, that will be connect with ground and then feeding position where we are going to feed uh, from uh, x from x axis or y axis the around it will become uh, 0.4 centimeter uh, we will say it's uh, 3.5 yeah, mm with the help of the parametric analysis i find out already that it will become 3.5 you can adjust panni paarenga 3.3 la irundhu 5 ku la neenga vary panni paarenga okay la ungalku endha edathula ungalku vandu 59 exact ah vandu match aagudha abingada neenga vandu csc tool la vandu nam work pannum bodhu namakku kedaikum okay la okay uh, now we are going to design with Tools. CSTS tool open money going okay. Uh, you can select that workflow uh, microwave and RF optical. 
and then you can select antenna and then from here there are so many workflows is the waveguide planner wire place the mobile phone integrator reflector direct liability resonator rfid i am going to use simple patch so i am going to choose the planner patch and uh, time i am going to choose time domain and then the dimensions uh, I am going to mention in MM only and then frequency I am going to use 5 gigahertz so that I didn't change anything here give the minimum frequency is um, I am going to give 4 and then maximum frequency is 6 my center frequency is 5 so that I am taking 4 to 6 my center frequency is 5 I am going to design an antenna for five, to resonate at 5 gigahertz uh, so I am taking 4 to 6 okay okay now we will enter that uh, patch length and width values what is the patch length patch length is 13.5 okay patch length is 13.5 and then patch width is 18.4 patch width is 18.4 and then i told with you uh, ground length is double the time of patch so 2 star l uh, it's it must 2 star l means we will get that 13.5 uh, into 2 we will get 27 uh, 2 star w as well as for uh, ground width also uh, one thing we want we uh, we know uh, that uh, ground length and width always the double the time of patch length and width and then the ground length and then ground length and width and then substrate length and width both are will be same ground order length length and width enna irukko adhe da namakku substrate node length and width ah irukum okay la sir vandu double the time da vekkuma appdi solli kettinga appadina double the time da vekkanum nadu kedaiyadu okay la you can take uh, uh, l plus 6 h also you can be, you can take l plus 6 h kuda eduthukalam h indradhu nammude height of the substrate yen vandu namakku andha maari eduka solranga appadina then only that appo da namakku vandu pathinga appadina finite ground plane ah irukum adha infinite ground plane ah irukum okayla infinite ground plane appadiyum bodhu engalukku vandu back radiation ah irukadhu okayla neenga vandu patch oda length um ground oda length um if you will take patch length and then ground length both are will be same then then back radiation will be comes the back loop will be come heavily so to avoid that you can take double the time of ground length from patch or otherwise you can take uh, ground length equal to l plus 6 h anything we will get the same answer and then uh, thickness of the copper is always common this is 0 0.035 i entered the length of the patch and then width of the patch i entered and then ground length and then ground width and then height is 1.6 i mentioned and then t is uh, t means the thickness of the copper i am mentioning here 0 0.035 uh, this is the standard for all the PCB designing uh, the thickness of the copper is suitable becomes 0 0.035 only and then next uh, that inner pin of coaxial cable uh, inner pin of the coaxial cable outer pin of the coaxial cable we need to find okay, uh, with the help of the calculate analytical line impedance we can sell uh, it will becomes uh, coaxial I am going to design for 5 gigahertz uh, first initially I am mentioning that uh, inner diameter is uh, 4 sorry outer diameter is 4 inner diameter is 2 uh, the in between inner conductor and outer conductor in between the teflon will be there the permittivity of the teflon value is it will becomes 2.1 2.1 so while we are calculating that uh, impedance value we are getting 28.68 so what we do uh, we need to increase 28.68 to 50 because that always we, uh, we will get from shop 50 ohm uh, SMA connector SMA coaxial connector only we will get so we want to design 50 ohm uh, inner and outer uh, so that what I am going to do it's a 4.7 for outer and then inner I am going to do Uh, 1.8 what will we get it will becomes okay so 
1.5 this is a trial and error method with the help of this only we can able to uh, identify so what we will get uh, that outer uh, diameter is 4.7 outer coaxial cable diameter is 4.9 uh, inner coaxial cable diameter is 1.4 that means the diameter uh, so i am going to mention here so the outer diameter is 4.7 and then inner diameter is 1.4 okay uh, inner pin what is the inner inner pin 1.4 1.4 divided by 2 because that we will mention radius so i am mentioning in 1.4 divided by 2 outer pin okay i am mentioning inner pin i am taking see r1 inner pin should i am taking r1 outer pin i am taking r2 uh, that's a 4.7 4.7 divided by 2 because this is also only a diameter we need to con convert it say radius say inner pin radius and the next one is the outer pin radius outer pin radius okay okay next we will going to design a patch uh, go to the modeling and then select a brick press escape then the, the this brick window will be open uh, you can select initially you can type initially ground uh, ground with this minus wg by 2 2 plus wg by 2 ground length is minus lg by 2 2 plus lg by 2 and then it will be starts from 0 to t uh, ground is always a copper conducting material copper is a copper is only a conducting material and then next we need to design a substrate substrate go to brick press escape and then type it's a substrate uh, substrate also minus wg by 2 plus wg by 2 minus lg by 2 2 plus lg by 2 already in previous video i told uh, why i am why i am putting minus wg by 2 2 plus wg by 2 x minimum why i am putting minus wg by 2 and then x max why i am putting wg by 2 you can go and then watch it t plus h and then substrate i told with you i am going to choose a fr4 material FR4 its uh, permittivity value is 4.4 4.3 and 4 R 4.4 then give ok because uh, why I am putting minus WG by 2 plus WG by, by 2 means uh, in the y axis left side we need to come uh, part of them and then right side it will become part of them so I am separating minus WG by 2 to plus WG by 2 as well as in length also in uh, x axis uh, in uh, in y axis uh, partially it will be uh, par uh, part of the half of the part it will be comes below and then half of the part comes above the x axis uh, so y axis so only we are will be dividing like that okay the next we want to design a patch patch x minimum is minus w by 2 and then y minimum is plus w by 2 uh, so x minimum is minus w by 2 x max is plus w by 2 y minimum is minus w by 2 sorry minus l by 2 and then plus l by 2 uh, then here it will be starts already it will be occupied t plus h for substrate so patch will be uh, uh, occupied about t plus h so t plus h plus t and then select a material copper okay bottom is a ground above that that substrate above the substrate the patch is available bottom of the path ground rikke. ground it will be made by copper material above the ground we are placed substrate 
கிரவுண்டுக்கு மேலே என்ன வச்சுருக்கோம் சப்ஸ்டேட் வச்சுருக்கோம் சப்ஸ்டேட் பண்ண வச்சுருக்கோம் பேட்ச் வச்சுருக்கோம் ஓகேங்களா ஓகே தென் நெக்ஸ்ட்டு கொயாக்சுவல் கேபிளை பேக் சைட் நம்ம கனெக்ட் பண்ணணும் ஓகேங்களா கொயாக்சுவல் கேபிளை பேக் சைட் நம்ம கனெக்ட் பண்ணணும் அது எப்படி கனெக்ட் பண்ணுறதுன்னு சொல்லி பார்த்தீங்க அப்படின்னா ஃபஸ்ட்டு கிரவுண்டை கட் பண்ணணும் கட் பண்ணால் தான் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு சின்னதாக ஹோல் கட் பண்ணால் தான் என்ன பண்ண முடியும் அப்படின்னா நம்மளால் வந்துட்டு கொண்டு போயிட்டு இன்னர் பின்ட கொண்டு போயிட்டு பேச்சோட கனெக்ட் பண்ண முடியும் அதுக்காக என்ன பண்ணுறோம்னா கிரவுண்டை கட் பண்ணுறோம் கட் பண்ணாவே நீங்கள் வந்துட்டு டிசைன் பண்ணீங்க அப்படின்னா ஃபி வித்வுட் கட்டிங் தட் கிரவுண்ட் இஃப் யூஆர் டிசைனிங் தட் கொயாக்சியல் இன்னர் பின் மீன்ஸ் தென் இட் வில் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கலி ஷார்ட் கிரவுண்ட் பேச் அண்ட் கிரவுண்ட் வில் பி ஷார்ட் okay we will not get that result so that we need the first initially we need to cut the ground am eduthona enna pannu appadina ground cut panni eduthirnu konjam inner pin ulla inner pin appo da vandu pathina ground la short aagama enna avum appadina patch la connect panna mudiyum okay first i am giving ground cut uh enna radius la cut panna pora appadina r2 adhavadhu enoda outer radius la na cut pandren okayla X center, Y center cake, then I'm going to assign the assignment to X, F, Y, F, and assign the assignment. 0, 2, T. The ground thickness is T. Okay, I'm going to give the ground thickness to T. Okay, I'm going to give the ground thickness to T. I can give VACM, and then give press preview. Preview is going to be X of value cake. நம்மளுக்கு சொன்ன எக்ஸ் எஃப் வேல்யூவோ இல்லை ஒய் எஃப் வேல்யூ அது ரெண்டில் ஏதோ ஒரு வேல்யூ வந்துட்டு த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் வச்சுக்கோ சொன்னேன் இட்ஸ் ஏ மேபி பாசிட்டிவ் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் ஆர் நெகட்டிவ் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் ஓகேங்களா நார்மலாக பார்த்தீங்கன்னா த்ரீ டூ ஃபைவ் குள்ளே பார்த்தீங்க அப்படின்னா உங்களுக்கு மேட்ச் ஆகும் ஓகேங்களா நான் வந்துட்டு இங்கே த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் கொடுத்துருக்கேன் கிரவுண்ட் கொடுத்துட்டு கட் எனிவே ஹைலைட் ஸ்பேஸஸ் ஓகேங்களா உங்களுக்கு என்ன ஆகும் அப்படின்னா கிரவுண்டோடைய பாட் உங்களுக்கு என்ன ஆகும் அப்படின்னா ரிமூவ் ஆயிரும் கிரவுண்டோடைய பாட் உங்களுக்கு ரிமூவ் ஆயிரும் ஓகே தென் நெக்ஸ்ட்டு can design that inner pin okay la inner pin can design panna inner pin inner pin node radius enna appadina inner pin node outer radius enna nu paathinga appadina namakku r1 i can put it say xf yf okay la endha changes pannadinga xf yf இன்னர் பின் வந்துட்டு நமக்கு வந்து எங்கேருந்து எங்கே கனெக்ட் ஆகணும்னு பார்த்தீங்க அப்படின்னா எனக்கு பேஷனோடைய டாப் வரையும் கனெக்ட் ஆகணும் இங்கே பாருங்கள் நமக்கு இந்த டயக்ராம் நமக்கு தெரியும் அதாவது இன்னர் பின் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா பேஷனோடைய டாப் வரையும் எனக்கு வந்துட்டு கனெக்ட் ஆகணும் அப்போ பேஷனோடைய டாப் வரையும் கனெக்ட் ஆகணும் அப்படின்னா நம்ம என்ன பண்ணோம் அப்படின்னா டி ப்ளஸ் ஹச் டி ப்ளஸ் ஹச் ப்ளஸ் டி அப்போ தான் உங்களுக்கு என்ன ஆகும் அப்படின்னா பேஷனோடைய டாப் வரையும் கனெக்ட் ஆகும் அப்போ எக்ஸெக்ட் மினிமம் என்ன கொடுக்குறது அப்படின்னு சொல்லி கேட்டிங்க அப்படின்னா சரி மோஸ்ட்லி நீங்கள் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஹச்சை விட த்ரீ டைம்ஸ் வந்துட்டு ஹச் வந்துட்டு பாட்டமில் வர மாதிரி கொடுங்க மைனஸ் த்ரீ ஸ்டார் ஹச்னு கொடுங்க ஓகேங்களா இட்ஸ் யூ கேன் டேக் இட்ஸ் ஏ கான்ஸ்டன்ட்லி ஃபார் ஆல் தி எக்ஸை ஃபீடிங் டெக்னிக்ஸ் அப்போ தான் நமக்கு வந்துட்டு ஃபீட் பண்ணுறதுக்கு கம்ஃபர்டபுளாக இருக்கும் ஓகேங்களா அண்ட் தென் கொயாக்ஷியனுடைய இன்னர் கேபிள் வந்துட்டு பார்த்திங்க அப்படின்னா இன்னர் பின் என்ன இருக்கும் அப்படின்னா காப்பர் கிவ் ஓகே ஓகே now that inner pin design is over and then next nam enna panna porom appadina inner pin suthi namak enna irukano appadina teflon irukano okayla inner pin around the inner pin we should, we need to design a teflon okayla teflon da pathinga appadina the teflon is used to protect to short the inner pin and then outer pin okayla inner pin ayo outer pin ayo short aga mara and protect pandradha and teflon irukum and melugumar irukku ungalude கொயாக்சல் கேபிள் எடுத்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா தெரியும் உங்கள் வீட்டுக்கு வரக்கூடிய கேபிள் கனெக்ஷனுடைய கேப் பேக் சைட் இருக்கிற கேபிள் செக் பண்ணி தான் உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் ஓகேங்களா ஐம் கோயிங் டு கிவ் டெஃப்லான் அவுட்டர் ஏரியஸ் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு கிவ் ஆர் டூ மைனஸ் பாயிண்ட் ஒன் ஓகே இன்னர் ரேடியஸ் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு கிவ் ஆர் ஒன் எக்ஸ்எஃப் ஒய்எஃப் as usual we can take minus 3 star h2 zero because up to ground it will be goes no need to go inside the ground can select the material uh, teflon name here mentioned it's a p w p t f e can select it and then give preview and then give okay the next i coaxial cable inner pin is over 
around the inner pin teflon is over next we want to design a outer pin outer pin or outer cover outer cover radius is r2 outer pin radius now already number one r2 r2 minus 0.1 x of yf minus 3 star h to 0 outer pin now we are going to see ground order by touch on a pole okay now copper and it can give preview and then press ok these are all finished now patch is almost finished the next we need to uh, intersect all the components uh, ground you can make intersect with uh, outer pin as well as uh, patch intersect with uh, inner pin then ground instant with teflon okay well. better you can add it okay select a patch and then go to add with out uh, inner pin okay then it will be add added and then select a ground select a ground add outer cover so it's clear now next the next step is we need to select a waveguide port so select a pick f select a face and then go to waveguide port press it ok check it because uh, the distance to reference plan is minus 3 star h because I am I am taken that uh, coaxial cable from minus 3 star to h ok so that I am plus giving minus 3 star h but it will not affect too much and then that's all we can put a start simulation It will be take few seconds to complete this process. Uh, almost simulation is over. Now simulation is over. Let me check this uh, S parameter results. Go to the 1D results and then check the S parameter. Uh, we are getting the result around 4.88, 4.9. Four point nine. It's okay. Uh, let me check the bandwidth. Uh, select a curve marker. Uh, F one is four point seven. F two is five point one. Uh, the bandwidth is around point three gigahertz. Uh, five point zero one minus four point seven. We are, will get around. Uh, 0.4 GHz that means 400 megahertz 400 megahertz always we need to check the bandwidth is uh, minus 10 dB below the minus 10 dB minus 10 dB uh, actually actually we are designed for 5 GHz but we are getting here it's uh, around 4.8 but there is no issues uh, you can manually tune that uh, if you increase the patch length that frequency will be decreased uh, here that frequency is uh, below 4.8 so what we do means you can decrease the patch length so automatically that uh, automatically it will be increased uh, increased for example what I did here it's a uh, 13.5 uh, if we are putting the 13.3 or 13.2 we will get around 5 gigahertz uh, I hope uh, this is very useful for you uh, those who are all beginners to design that uh, Coaxial patch with uh, microstrip patch antenna. Coaxial feed with microstrip patch antenna. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. Uh, kindly subscribe that uh, 
ஆதி தருண் ஈனினை தேங்க்யூ ஆல்